welcome back. It's me, Kristen. And if you're new, hi! Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell to see more videos from me. So today we are going to be discussing a topic that I don't think is discussed very much, and that is clothing. More specifically, we are going to be delving into why what we wear matters, and why it's crucial to acknowledge this in order to get anywhere in life. So just a little disclaimer before we start, I know that not everyone can afford to dress in quality clothes. I'm not making this video to look down on people who wear sweatpants daily, or those who dress less than businessy in their attire. This video is simply to educate about a topic that I don't think people discuss or even think about that much. Let us begin. So, we've all heard it countless times, dress to impress, but why? What's so significant about whether we wear a t-shirt or a blazer, a fuzzy sweater, or a black trench coat? Isn't it just a tad bit ridiculous to let a piece of cloth dictate our lives? All these commonly asked questions are indeed very valid. Our own skills and qualities should be at the forefront, not what we wear. Unfortunately, these pieces of cloth we drape ourselves in are far more important on a deeper level than just aesthetic. Yes, you know where I'm getting at. It all has to do with our friend, the subconscious. I'm sure some of you are doubtful about the supposedly profound impact clothes have on us at this subconscious level. That's why I'm here with an example. So I want you to picture yourself inside an elevator. In steps a man wearing sweatpants and a baggy black hoodie. The hood is covering his face, making him look like Palpatine. You notice that his hands are in his pockets, and you can't tell if he has something or not. So in this situation, how do you think that you'd feel? If you said, I feel fine, ha, don't lie. At the very least, you'd be alert and on guard around this man. Who knows what his intentions are? Now picture yourself once again in that elevator. In steps a man wearing a white suit. He's clean shaven and his hair is gelled and styled. You get a pleasant waft of cologne through your nose. Just like the previous man, you don't talk to each other. But once again, how would you think that you'd feel? To be honest, you'd probably feel calm and comfortable. Ironically enough, the man in the hoodie could be a wonderful person, while the man in the suit, a serial killer. You'd never think that though. So what's the reason for the difference of feelings towards each man? It's pretty simple. It's mainly their clothes. This is where our subconscious comes in. You see, our subconscious plays a huge role in how we perceive things. Not only does it control our heartbeat, and things our body just seems to do, but it controls our judgment of others. Take my example of the two men. What our subconscious would do is analyze each of them using experiences and memories to decide their threat level. Firstly, the subconscious would take into account the clothes each are wearing. It would seem the man in the sweats is of a lower class than the man in the suit, making us already inclined to want to stay away from the first man. With this judgment of lower class would come memories of what has been ingrained into us by society regarding what lower class people are like. Things like being poor, violent, unkept, unpredictable, and maybe a bit savage comes to mind. And then to top it off, we have the color scheme of what each are wearing. Colors are very significant to our subconscious as it attributes them to certain things. The first man is wearing mainly black while the other man is wearing a suit that is white. While black can occasionally symbolize power, in this case, we are going to be subconsciously associating it with death, danger, and negativity due to the previously analyzed factors. In general though, black is usually bad. Just think, black plague, black market, black list, the association is bad. The man in the white suit, however, will exude feelings of positivity and light. That is because the subconscious associates white with peace, love, goodness, and tranquility. With all these factors analyzed within our subconscious within just a few moments, our conscious mind comes to the conclusion with the information our subconscious has given that the man in baggy black clothing is a higher threat than the man in white. We haven't technically interacted with either man. This is all judged simply from clothing. Now, isn't that fascinating? It is important to note, however, that this judgment is something that just happens. We can't control it. It might be incorrect occasionally, but it is a survival mechanism that we humans have had for thousands of years. And it doesn't just stop at judging clothing. We judge objects, animals, and we judge situations. And it's kept us alive. However, for this video, we're talking just mainly on clothing. So let's not stray off topic. Clothing doesn't just make us judge people on their threat level, but on their trustworthiness, are they credible, are they likable, and 
Are they even worth acknowledging? Clothing is important. Think. If clothing wasn't important, why would there be a need to make excellent first impressions? Hence, this is why you need to be aware of what you wear. When meeting someone for the first time, whether you choose to accept it or not, your conscious and subconscious are scrutinizing the hell out of the other person, and vice versa. The same process I described repeats with every person we encounter. What we wear conveys messages, and those messages send a story to all those who are viewing us. Rich, poor, competent, fool, doctors dress like doctors, and butlers dress like butlers. You dress to look the part. This is essentially why disguises are used. If you change your clothes, you're changing the messages you send to everyone else's minds. You therefore change the judgments our subconscious makes when we view you, whether you want to appear less threatening or more threatening, more smart or not that smart. Judgments we aren't aware of sometimes, but judgments that matter nonetheless. So now think. Take a look at what you're wearing. What are the messages that you're sending? So here's a little story. When I was applying for a job on National Hiring Day, I was competing against about 100 people. What got me hired and got me the second interview more than anything is how I presented myself. I came looking like this. Most other people came looking like this. How can your employer trust you to put effort in your work when you can't even put effort in your own appearance? Like I've said constantly, your attire sends messages to everyone, regardless of if you want it to or not. You must be diligent in how you present yourself. Finally, I want to go over one last thing. So far, I've been talking about the profound impact clothing has on other people and those viewing it. But did you know that your own clothing affects you psychologically? While researching this topic, I came across an interesting article. If you want to read it, I'll link it down below. Anyway, it talks about the impact it has psychologically on ourselves. It uses this term called enclosed cognition. Basically, our clothing impacts our moods, behavior, and personality. It is because there is some symbolic meaning behind wearing certain articles of clothing. For instance, gym clothes makes us feel fitter and makes us more inclined to actually want to work out. And then we have the classic suit, which brings about an air of power and strength. I mean, have you guys ever worn a suit? I get so pumped when I wear one. And I just learned that it's because extra hormones are getting pumped into my body because it's needed to show the extra dominance that you are supposed to have when you're wearing a suit. That's probably why when I wear a suit, I literally feel unstoppable. All in all, clothes are very important. My takeaway message to you is that even if you don't plan on wearing suits or business skirts every day, it's important to put just a little bit of thought into your outfit. It goes way deeper than just do it to look nice. And with that, we've come to the end of the video. As always, don't forget to give a like and share it to other people if you found it informative. Also, comment down below what you thought and if you actually plan on putting more effort into your outfits now. Before we go, I just have one more thing to say. Thank you so much for 300 of you subscribing. I actually, like, that's so crazy. I never thought that would happen. I know that thank you really isn't enough and that's why I'm going to show you through my actions and my videos and the content that I put out how grateful I am. Okay, well, I'll see you next time. And it's probably going to be another the psychology behind blank. Because I kind of like these videos, they're kind of nice. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye bye!